Hello, welcome back. A- another episode of Ginny and Georgia. Episode 4, Happy... My... What? <laughs> happy my birthday to you. Oh, like, happy my birthday to you. You are in my presence of my birthday, and I'm wishing you a happy my birthday. Is that the most confusing fucking title ever? Maybe. Did I think I cracked it? Possibly. Um, what happened? Well, obviously, this is about a birthday. What happened last episode? We finally had our talk. We had our chat. We had our communication. I hope everything starts getting better, but we've still got seven episodes left, so something bad has to go on, obviously. Um... But yeah, I don't I don't really know. Last episode was good. I hope we continue on this train. Sorry if you can hear my fan. Um, and if you'd like to watch the full length episode, come join us on my Patreon. Link down below. Don't have to. <laughs> um, but let's get into it. Oh. She operates differently. Yeah. Well, I guess all parents operate and people operate differently, but... Outside the norm, yes, she operates differently. What is he getting from above his... Oh, he's just climbing down. Okay. I thought he had, like, a stash of something up there. We've never been the normal picket fence dinner at Seven Family. No. You haven't. I think that's due to the moving half the time. For me. I can get past this. <laughs> we can be okay. George is like, hmm... Why is he coming into my house? She can do a fun thing where she like busts in and like catches them. Not catches them doing anything, just just like <laughs> annoys them. Catches them talking. And he now knows that your mum has killed someone. Right before we had the good talk. Oh, I forgot about the blue in the hair. I was like, what's in the hair? Okay, they've really gone full-fledged into the scenes. <laughs> oh, he's not enjoying this. Lie down, lie down. Lie down. Oh god, this is- where are you hiding? This is horrible. Oh my god. This is the most noise ever. Oh Jesus Christ. Well, that wasn't suspicious at all. <laughs> she is- she knows, but she- I, I don't think she's gonna say anything. Fifteen, Come okay. On. Move your butt. So don't take it. Are you in the closet? <laughs> or you under the bed. Yeah. Wait. Are you decent? Mostly. No. Oh no. Can come out here, please? Technically he's decent. Oh, I don't know how Americans consider decent, but I'd say having your underwear on is decent enough. How long you been dating my dog? Dating? We don't <laughs> Yeah, we're not we don't have uh terms for it yet. I don't like that answer. Oh I really like her. You like her. Yeah. I love her. Ooh, that's that's that you just jumped. The, okay. <laughs> She's like, I don't know how to feel. Have a seat. Yeah, we're having we're having a little chat. <laughs> we're having a little time to ourselves. Oh no, I'm gonna start her accent, aren't I? Aren't we all? Isn't everyone? Yeah. Georgia... Well, he now knows you've killed someone. But he's very chill about it. And I appreciate that. Yeah. But don't hold her back. You gotta let her go. Like... It's kind, it's kind of a mean thing to say. But I feel like you could say, you know... If you can keep up, you keep up with her. But it's kind of a nice way to think about your daughter. Oh, and he's like, he's like, she means it. He said that you picked it up this morning. <laughs> how did she? How did she get to the pharmacy so quickly? <laughs> just saying we were talking about. You tell me. Yeah, you were sneaking him in. Boyfriend was sneaking through your window again? Yeah. He's not my boyfriend. Yeah, now's the time for some antics. Sneaking a boy through a window, am I trapped in a 90 show? Yeah. What is this? Clarissa explains it all, doc. Just take him in the front door. Someone have a mental breakdown or hook up with the teacher. I'm oh. definitely tuning in. 
he is... Marcus is like, can I get the absolute fuck out of here, please? I hate it so much. You did sneak him in. Um, maybe we'll talk about it and come to an agreement about how he comes in here. Oh, this is a lot when people are very birthday for everyone. Like, their birthday's a lot. Like, I love my birthday, but I don't need everyone to love my birthday. I feel like that could be held against me. Oh, <laughs> that was a nice reconciliation. That's, Max, you're kind of fucking rude. No, that was a shit thing to do. Go hang out with Ginny. She actually likes you. Oh, I hope you say something mean to Max, just for fun. Hey, Max. I just wanted to say happy birthday. That's sweet. Yeah, she's dating a man. Having the best birthday. <laughs> so far. You should come to my party. Oh no. That's. That's a lot. Like a friend. Or, a or date. date. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ew. Uh, this wasn't awkward, literally at all. I do love your sweater. What do you think she meant when she said maybe? Means that it's fucking awkward, and she might not want to do it. Happy birthday! You can't be mad at me on my birthday. I don't think she's actually mad at you. It's not last night. Two hours in. Yeah. She's gorgeous. She knows everything. Yeah. She has no boundaries. I expect that shit from her. Welcome to my life. <laughs> You're now part of the family, boyo. Love. Zara with her daughter. Sam, what did you say? Zara is gonna destroy you. Oh. It was. My mom that was sweet. I can't believe I have to say that. To you. No, that's kind of fun. At least they get along somewhat. You tend to confuse the days of the week. <laughs> oh my god. Just in the hallway. <laughs> I don't think you have to look away because you guys sex. <laughs> There's more. Um, my mom and Paul are going to be at Paul's this Friday. Oh, okay. I thought the you were going to... seems a bitch. Yeah, we know. Uh, I thought they were going to throw a, a party, but at least we're... Hmm? Yeah, I think you've been skipping a lot. You have been skipping a lot. And I am worried about that, because AP English... I don't even know what the AP stands for. We don't have AP. Um, but it sounds tough. You know what I mean? Isn't that like the harder version of the class? Okay, what's going on now? Oh, interesting. Why are we here, Nora? Well, you still could. You're young. Why are we here? Do you remember when we were 11 and we stole beer from your dad and poured it on our heads to lie out in the sun to try and get highlights? Wow. Does that work? No, you shouldn't drink the beer. Beer tastes like crap. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. She's gonna cut you all off and then have no friends. Well, she's, being so dramatic. she's always been dramatic. Good. Yeah, you guys are... Mang. Was that it? Yeah. Obviously, M at the front for Max. Let's talk more about your mother. Okay, back... I not refer to her as my mother. <laughs> Uh, to Georgia. Very roller coaster esque. High highs, low lows. She's not a normal mom. She's not like other moms. I guess he's not officially my boyfriend. Yeah. How do you feel about her doing that? She just does stuff. I mean, I for the for that situation, I think that's kind of uh, fun. That means they're somewhat getting along. What she's like. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Depends. How much of who you are and what you're capable of is predetermined? 
Like, can she answer that? Can anyone answer that? Do we know? Because she wants to know more about her mum. <laughs> she wants to know why she's that way. What you're feeling and what makes you want to so much. Yeah. You have to be honest about how you're really feeling or it won't get better. Yeah, just tell us. Tell us what's going on, Ginny. As, like I said, I'm, I'm fine. Are you, though? You, you do keep flicking the lacquer band. Okay, what's going on? You want help. I'm the yeah. one who's mad, not you. Get over it. I'm sorry, Max. Did yeah. I disrupt the equilibrium of the universe by suggesting that something not be centered around you? Mm. Yeah, agreed. So bitch. I no, you that, don't you? You like yeah. I screwed up and you're just perfect. <sighs> I'm not perfect, but I didn't sleep with your brother. Good because that would be a felony. You lied to me. <laughs> that was a good one. I'm supposed to tell you everything? That's yeah. Ship is Friendship is not having to reveal every innermost thought and secret to each other. Did and still liking each other. Yeah. Mean that a friend wouldn't write off someone without having the full story. The full story. Yeah. Really need a play by play of how you bone my brother because I'm pretty sure I'm. And also, does it matter that. Does it matter that much? You know, you talk a lot, but it's not all quality. No, it's definitely not. It's not quality. I do. Max's acting is fantastic. I will definitely not knock that. You so much, and you've hurt me. God, sometimes I just I feel like what I'm going through and who I am is just completely invisible to you. I am happy, Ginny's using her words. Really did, but I don't know. You bakers have some pheromony DNA or something. They do. You're all pretty, like. But like his greasy hair doesn't bug you at all. You're all pretty enjoyable, especially Alan, and your dad. Yeah, because you haven't asked. We really tried to stop it. Because I love you too. Yeah. The full story, bitch. So you'd be like my sister in law. Okay, well. Yeah, what yeah, that's that's very good. Sorry, I've been so mean. Thank you. I've been hurting so much, like it's leaking out of me like a faucet, and I've been such a bitch, a huge bitch. Yeah, okay. It's probably good that Brody's basement flooded because I don't know. That means that means I'm a letter color bitch. She's self bitch identifying. <laughs> I'm happy. St. Max, I like you again. This is all I needed. Wow, that worked. Okay, let's not... Yeah, it is. And someone has a free house. He just wanted a... <laughs> he just wanted a bit of time. Yeah. For your birthday, you can have my birthday. Yeah, that's sweet. No, it means something good for you. Yeah. I'm violently excited. Let's Are you not ever not violently excited? You're always violently something. You're always got... Max's emotions are never at a zero. They're always at a ten for whatever it is. Excitement, ten. Anger, ten. Grudge, ten. Bitchiness, ten. Sadness, ten. Love, ten. It's all tens. She's got the whole panel of people doing ten. She's winning. Okay, this is... Everything's going well until the parents crash. <laughs> Georgia looks fantastic. So do you, Alan. Oh, I like this. <laughs> the parents... The parent brigade... Brigade has rocked up. A mother! It's a mother! It's a mother. It's the mother, but also it's a couple of mothers. Yeah, my pleasure. After you. <laughs> Ellen's like, the fuck, I hate kids. Welcome to our home. <laughs> Guys. Oh god, Max, I don't think you can smooth this one over. Flies for the real heroes, right? We could save me. Yay! Oh, she's drunk. <laughs> Oh no, don't barge in. Okay, th this is better. Yeah, I thought we had no secrets. <laughs> Georgia, do you have anything to add? Yeah. Yeah. He's doing well. 
See, she would have thrown this party herself, so she doesn't think it's as bad. Yeah, discipline needs to be a bit stronger. Paul's got a point. Hey, I'm sorry about the other night. I love that you care about him. Yeah, I'm... I've just been the only one looking after him for so long. That, I think that's what I said. I hope that's what I said. That's what I meant. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's like that's better than him fucking hating them. Him loving them is like the best thing you could get. I mean, besides the loving. She grew a rager, like a can yeah. American pirate. Oh my god. Okay, and we're we're happy. George is a child. Well, I didn't screw up too bad. She's a normal teenager. This is yeah. amazing. Okay. If you yeah. so. Paul's like th that's not how I would have done it, but I'm oh no, what? Okay, yeah, I realize that. There's a wall separating me from that's, else. that's the mental health stuff. I thought we're, I thought, well, I didn't think we're doing so well, but I thought the night was well. Why my mom did it. Oh, she you thought she had to. Yeah, you still obviously blame yourself for that, and I get why. Oh, God. She's never going to get that out of her head unless she talk. Are you allowed to talk um, about murder to a therapist? Ah, uh, yeah. The world. Like, are you allowed to say, no, is, like, murder, isn't murder something therapists can't, like, talk about? I don't know. I literally don't know. Who's she texting? She texts calling her a therapist? Please tell me you're calling your therapist. Yep, keep calling. Don't hang up. She needs to talk. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Lily. Yeah, this is good. I, I'm... Not doing well. I'm doing good. Um, I, I, I'm getting better. Yeah. Okay, we need to... We need to stop... I think you're lying to yourself, in a way. I don't want to accuse you of that. Yeah. Let's be honest with her. Yeah. Oh, this is... Okay, you need the Zion hand. Or just general support. I'm not okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. I think, you know, a good, a good step to that is, you know, admitting it, talking about it, you know, trying... Talk through it, work with it, figuring that out. Um, okay, it was, like, it was such a good episode, such a fun episode, and then that happened. That, you know, that wasn't, like, bad or anything. It was just, I was wanting, I was hoping she was getting a lot better. And obviously, everyone works at their, works at the same time. It's just, uh, the same time, completely different times. I just, you know, sometimes you think... Because of, like, reconciling with Max and having the good love with her boyfriend. You think sometimes that that could help. But, obviously, I know that everything goes at different paces and takes different times. But, at least she now has a full net good support network if she chooses to dip into that. But, let's talk about Max. Max, doing better. Love Max. Love Daisha. Love who Daisha's involved with. Loving Paul. Paul's great. Joe, Joe and Cynthia. Are they going to become a thing? I don't know, but Cynthia, I feel the worst for. I'm sorry. That's like having your husband just like dying in front of you. I couldn't like, I couldn't like, like there's probably worse things, but you know what? You can't like tragedy compare. I could like, that just seems like the worst fucking thing and she needs comfort and I'm happy. Like, I don't see them getting together for long, but I'm happy if her and Joe can find something together in a way. But yeah, that was a good episode to the end. But we're hoping Ginny's on a, you know, keeps keeps calling the therapist, keeps doing well. And yeah, loving it. We're gonna, I think we'll see more of the detective next episode. Which I also don't want to see. But <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one.